Alright, here we are back on the uh, the first of these types of rooms. I was supposed to cross over to the other side, but there was a path to the left that I never explored because it would have been a waste of my time. However, now that the elevators are working, I can use the elevator that's in here. Get leveled up. Now, what did the elevator lead to? That chest we saw a while back. A moonberry! Hooray! Well, that's that. Guess it's time to go up the, uh, the long way. Okay, let's advance the game. Yep, retreading old ground. This uh, dungeon has gotten more complicated. Again, mostly trial and error. There aren't too many branching paths, but it keeps you occupied. Right, second mesh room. And now we move on. Okay, finally, we're caught up to where we were. There we are. Alright, moving on. Okay, new territory. New elevator. We're going down this time. This dungeon just kinda keeps going, doesn't it? It gets rather disorienting. It is pretty linear, it just doesn't look it. Now we've actually been to this place before. On both sides, it seems. Now we're going through the middle. And this dungeon gives you the runaround. Good. Good. Soon, Vice. Very soon, you shall die. And when you die, I want you to die slowly. Yes, slowly, really slowly. I want your brains to gush out of your head. Pardon me, DeLoco. I didn't mean to interrupt one of your intellectual monologues. I came to tell you that Vice has broken into the mines. And you figured this out all by yourself. What gave it away? Was it the alarm? Maybe it was the sirens! Yes, well, the fact is he was foolish enough to deliver himself to me. I shall go dispose of him. You are the fool, Alfonso. <laughs> the only reason you were made admiral was because of your family. You don't stand a chance against Vice. I shall kill him. I want him to die. 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 Soon. Very soon. <laughs> well, this ought to get interesting. We got two admirals pissed at us. Hello. Okay. All right. Ha! 
Unfortunately, Lambda Burst is not going to kill any of these guys, but it'll at least soften them up. The problem is these guys are pretty good with magic. So close. Just a, a, a regular attack. Alright. Well, you're dead now. Easy. Oh, wow. We're close to leveling up uh, Silver for Drachma. Now I have free reign for these four rooms. Four glyphs of might, that's pretty sweet. Four glyphs of speed, my god. Do I even have one of those? I know I have two kinds of glyphs. No, I did, okay. Alright. Two healing salves, excellent. Man, it's just prize after prize of this game. Or at least with this dungeon. Oh! And who might you be? Are you the High Priest, Isapa? The one and only, I am Isapa. Well, we're on a mission from King Ixitaka. We're here to rescue you. <laughs> well, the king knows what I like. Sending two beautiful women to come save me. I have no use for you men. Now if you just leave us alone for a while. Wow. Oh, really? There's no way that this dirty old man is a high priest. Oh, aren't you a pretty one? In all of my years, I have never seen anyone like you. I believe that you are a Sylvite, am I right? <gasps> what? How did you know? <laughs> instinct, my dear, instinct. I am very observant, especially around women. I could probably guess that goofy girl's measurements. Wow. <laughs> okay, that does it. I know we have to bring him back, but the king didn't say anything about bringing him back conscious. Relax, Ike. Uh, right now we just have to worry about getting out of here alive. Let's go. Man, Isapa does not care. So, you've rescued Isapa. Very nice. <laughs> but soon you will die. You will die a horrible death and you will scream and I will laugh. Whoa. That's a lot of blood. He's done this before. <laughs> I've prepared my favorite room just for you. Please, come in and stay a while. Stay forever. <laughs> oh, this guy. Out we go. Oh, well then. Here goes nothing. I don't get it. Why would the Valuans build such a huge room in these mines and not use it for anything? I don't plan on sticking around long enough to find out. <laughs> so you've made it this far. I am impressed, but now you shall die. You will pay for what you did to my precious chameleon. Oh yes, you will.
good. I love it. <laughs> All of the slaves who tried to run have died in this room. <laughs> Vice, I want to hear you scream. Now I shall have my revenge. Let's start the show, shall we? Huh? Now what? <gasps> Freaking dumbass. <laughs> Long time no see, Vice. It is I, Alfonso. I came here to watch you die. What are you doing, Alfonso, you fool? If you're in there, I won't be able to crush them. Someone of my stature doesn't deal with filth like yourselves, personally. Dispose of them. Antonio too! Finish them! Yeah, we seriously have another one of these. Okay. If he's yellow, I think I might actually want to go silver. My goodness. Okay, let's increment it up. Moons, give me strength. Definitely happy she went first. Attack's not terrible. Okay. That's gonna hit Fina too, I think. That really hurt. Alright. Yeah, we're doing this. Moves, give me strength. Uh, it cost me all my energy, but that's fine. This guy's not terrible, unless he keeps doing that. I can do this all day, buddy. Even Fina's getting in on poking. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Really, Drachma? That's fine. We're doing this again. I mean, why not? I can heal faster than he can harm. That's annoying. I really wish he would stop doing it in such a way that hits both characters. Keep it coming. Yeah, I'll just I'll just keep attacking. This is not an overly difficult fight, it's just kinda tedious with that thunder of fury. Just so long as Ica goes before Antonio 2 does, I should be in good shape. Oh my god. Like, again, I could do worse, but this is still pretty irritating. I still have 7 MP left. I think I'm good. Just over time, I'm gonna wear this guy down to the point where I'll be able to pull off a Cutlass Fury and a Sacrum. I'm hitting him with something. Oh my god, finally. Goodbye. <laughs> I 
Your final mistake, Antonio 2. Done. Fina levels up. And Drachma gets Frieza. Nice. And a Moonberry. Hey, I'll take it. No! What are you doing? Not this way! Ooh! That sucks. Serves you right, Alfonso. You got what you deserved. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to skewer all of you. Ooh. Huh? What? 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 What's going on? My traps have never failed me before. Crush them! Crush them! Crush them! Admiral DeLoco. Someone has tampered with all the machines in the mines. They are all malfunctioning. What? Why? 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 How can this be? I don't understand! Vice, why won't you just die? <laughs> Sir, snap out of it. Please get a hold of yourself. Just one tragedy after another, my god. Uh, uh, why do these things always happen to me? I know it's extremely dishonorable and it goes against the code of the Blue Rogues, but I mean, we could just stab him in the neck right now. He's an admiral. Whatever. Well, hello. You made it out of the mines unharmed, I see. I made a few adjustments to some of the machinery in the mines. Did it help? So that's what that was. Yes, yes, well, let's be on our way. Ah, yes, I managed to open the door to the outside as well. I must hurry back to see my family. They must be terribly worried about me. You really know your stuff. <laughs> And he cares very much about his family as well. You're a good man, Zentai. We're glad we could help you. Thank you very much. Well, I must get going. Stop by and see me in Horteca when you get a chance. Will do, buddy. So that's what that was. Yeah, we're back in the beginning. I love how the mines are still operational, apparently. Like, we still have slaves working here, like... Bye. Anyway, we're out. They really make you walk all the way down, don't they? Turns it a little jack, of course. And we're out of here. We beat Moonstone Mountain. For now, though, it is time to stop the installment.
Hey there, real quick I thought I would show you some stuff. You just saw a montage of uh, my grinding. Boy did I grind for about three hours. More on that in a second. Anyway, Fina has learned the spell Eternus. Now Eterni, you will recall, can instantly kill any one enemy. Eternus may kill freaking everything. That's where it's at. That's, that's a good spell to have. What else do I have? Well, I have, wow, more than I thought, four moonberries. Let's go ahead and get on that right now. Fina can learn, we've already gotten lunar cleansing, right? Any negative effects on us go away? Well, here's the opposite. Any beneficial effects go away from enemies. As tempted as I am to get other characters up, I actually really want this one. Lunar Winds. That's a good spell to have. Now the last spell is more expensive, it probably costs four, so I'll have to come back. Aika can learn... yeah, a mirror-like aura that restores 10 MP. I've tended to use Aika for a lot of my magic, so that's pretty damn good. I don't really need that right now though, and I know what her last move is. It's kind of like a better Lambda Burst, so I'll hold off. Vice has his own Lambda Burst, although it's way more expensive, but I think Aika has a bit of a preference toward fire, and some enemies just don't respond to that, like loopers, they don't care. Vice, I think, does more neutral damage, so the power of lightning to rain down upon all the enemies on the screen? Rain of Swords. Now, that's not why I did grinding for freaking three hours. The reason I did that is... Drachma. You'll recall that the last thing you saw me find was the Mace Hand. This is something I could have gotten way back in the Valua Catacombs, but it's available here too. A freaking 1% drop from those diggers. And as you can see, the attack is better even, from, uh, even than what I already have, and it would have been way better than um, what I had at Valua. However, the hit rate is pathetic. A heavy spiked steel ball with awesome destructive power but low accuracy. You basically can't use this in a fight, unless you're doing a special move like Tackle. If you do Tackle, you'll basically kill anything. Like, almost anything. Especially at this stage of the game. So, really quickly, I'll go ahead and show you what I'm capable of. I said I'll go ahead and show you what I'm capable of. Okay. So let's give ourselves a bit of practice. Oh, here's the digger. <laughs> Alright, so I'll start by blocking, blocking. Even though it won't do anything, because no one has boosts, I'll just show you what Lunar Winds looks like. And look at that monster. It's almost certainly going to miss, but that's okay. It actually hurts. Okay. Wow, it hurts and destroys uh, beneficial effects on enemies. That's amazing. For only six? Oh my god, I connected? Okay. Wow, I'll take it. I guess I was too powerful to show off Vice's move. That's fine. By the way, you'll notice that I now start with 9 SP. That's what happens when you level too much because the enemies just won't drop the damn mace hand. At least I got the thing. 1% drop. My god, it was easier getting the, uh, the boomerang from the grouters. In fact, it was four times easier. Alright, alright, let's do Vice's move now. Ugh, these guys. That's more like what normally happens. Now I gotta sit through these guys being talented. And I can almost kill them in one shot with Aika, that's pretty good.
Well, you're dead. Yeah, I can one-shot them with Vice now. Okay, fun time. Reign of Swords. That reduces my spirit regen, but that's okay. Too late now. Yeah, that is a fantastic move. That wasn't so bad. When I eventually level up to the point where I can have 14 SP at the start of my turn, that'll be my new Lambda Burst. That said, my current Lambda Burst can one-shot the, the, not the diggers, but the guards, so pretty good. Anyway, that's my little bit, so uh, now it's time to end the installment for Super Duper Real. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We beat Moonstone Mountain, and even in doing that, we got a lot done. We saved Sentai, the guy who was um, the father of Hans and all those uh, kids. We saved Asapa, which was our primary goal, and we even beat Alfonso indirectly, and humiliated the Loco a second time. Man, that guy's gonna calm down. He's gonna blow a freaking gasket, and I don't mean a literal one. Anyway, next up is bring Asaba back to the king. I'm sure he'll be quite pleased to see him. Until next time, everyone.